world and all the readers who inhabit it. My name is Bridget and today I will be showing you my TBR for the Cremathon. <laughs> Gotta cram it all in. In four days. Da 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 da. Ooh. Fuck. Mine. In case any of you didn't know, you probably all know, I mean, TBRs are being uploaded like rapid fire right now. Witty Novels has organized a readathon that will take place from July 10th to July 13th where you're supposed to read as many books as possible to catch up on your Goodreads goal and diminish your TBR pile, obviously. During this four-day time span, you're supposed to read a children's book, a hardcover book, a novella, a graphic novel, and a book written in three verse. Do you like my accent? I don't even know what it is. So, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my books now. Is that okay with you? It's okay with me, because that's why I'm here, recording this video. That's why you clicked this video, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so, good. The first book that I have here to satisfy the children's book challenge is The Little Prince by... Antone de Saint Yeah. French Guy. <laughs> the Little Prince by French Guy, because I can't pronounce that name. This is about a little boy or a little prince who travels to many different planets, eventually arriving at Earth. There, he encounters a pilot who crashed his plane in a desert and is desperately trying to fix it up before he runs out of his resources. As the story progresses, we see that these two characters form a bond and learn each other's backstories. I've just heard so many good things about this book, and my good friend Allison read this book and she said she started bawling, so... Who doesn't like a good sob story? For the hardback book, I have selected the Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This is going to be my third attempt trying to get through this book. I don't know why I haven't completed this yet. I mean, Neil Gaiman's writing is glorious and the storyline is so enticing, but there's, there's just this worm scene and every time I read it, I get kind of disgusted, so I always put it down, and I never pick it back up. I just... <sighs> Maybe there's just a thought in the back of my brain that's like, what if the worm comes back up? That was, that was disturbing. No. 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 No more worms. Worm. <laughs> Anyway, this book follows the story of an old man who travels back to his hometown for a funeral. Though his actual home is long gone, there was this farm at the end of the lane that he used to go to a lot as a child, where he met this curiously wise girl named Letty Hemstock, along with her mother and grandmother. Forty years earlier, a man had committed suicide in a car near the farm, thus releasing darkness. And Letty, being the good, caring friend that she is, promises to protect him from it. I am determined to get through this book. Even if it kills me. It's not gonna kill me. I'm gonna love it. I know I am. You're gonna be my spouse. For my novella, I've chosen to read Never Never Part 2 by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. I'm not gonna say anything about the blurb for part two because spoilers for anybody who hasn't read part one. But I'm going to say that when I read part one, I was astounded. It was absolutely fantastic and it ended on the worst cliffhanger ever. So yeah, I need to read that shit. <laughs> Bad word, brother. No! I have to read that good word on pages. The overall story of Never Never revolves around two teenagers named Charlie and Silas who one day wake up in the middle of their history class having no idea who they are or why they've been deprived of their memories. It's scary, obviously, but as they garner information about their past lives, they figure that maybe losing their memories wasn't 
such a misfortune. You want to pick up that book now. You know you do. Don't deny it. I'm excited. And I know it's getting hot. For my graphic novel, I have chosen Saga, Volume 1, by Brian K. Vaghan? Vaghan? Brian K. Vaghan? Why am I skipping? I'm skipping the G. That, 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 Vaghan, Vaghan, Brian K. Vaghan, and Fiona Staples. <laughs> Fail. Saga, Volume 1, by Brian K. Vaghan and Fiona Staples. For this one, I kind of just want to jump into it clueless. That's a bad word, cluelessly. Um without much knowledge of the story because, I don't know, ever since I've started reading graphic novels, I haven't really been reading the synopsis. I've just been like, <laughs> let me open the book. Look at the pretty pictures. <laughs> oh, shit. She doesn't have arms. She, she, she doesn't have arms. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited to read this. Plus, booktubers whose opinions I trust have absolutely raved about this book. Reagan, Riley, Katrina, and it doesn't hurt that Rainbow Rowell likes this book. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Did you get my joke? And lastly, for a book written in verse, I have Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. This is Jacqueline's memoir about her childhood. She tells the story of growing up in both the South and the North in the 1960s and 70s, the injustices that she had to cope with as a black girl, as well as seeking out her dream to become a writer. I haven't actually heard much about this book, but Jacqueline Woodson was present at BookCon this year, and there was... There was a line for her, and many people said that her writing was absolutely fabulous, so... I'm excited to pick this up and see what she's all about. So yeah, that was my TBR for the Cramathon. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye! by f the little prince the little prince the little prince maybe that's how they say it in france prince <laughs>